The order of operations refers to a set of rules for evaluating an equation that has more than one operation. And an operation in math is something like adding or subtracting, multiplying, dividing. And this order has been developed so that everyone does the operations in the same order in order to get the same result. If you complete the operations in a different order, you may get a different result. So the first thing in the order is to do anything that is in parentheses, which are like brackets. Some people use the word brackets. So if you see an operation inside a set of brackets or parentheses, you do that first. Secondly, you do the exponents. And you will learn about the exponents in a future year. So we can just leave that out for now. Third, you do division and multiplication, but you do it left to right. So if you've got one division and one multiplication, you do whichever one is on the left first, and you continue through that way. So division doesn't come before multiplication. It comes at the same time. Just you do it in the order from left to right. The same with addition and subtraction, which is the last thing you do. Again, it's left to right, and you don't do addition first and then subtraction. One way to remember the order of operations is to create a word from the first letter of each word in the list, and this is called an acronym. So we take the P from parentheses, the E from exponents, the D from division, the M from multiplication, the A from addition, and the S from subtraction, and we create a, a new word, PEDMAS. Now, some people, if they use brackets for parentheses, they might use bed mass. This is just a little thing to help you remember the order. And one thing to keep in mind is that if you're remembering it in this way, you have to remember that the D and the M, the division and the multiplication, come at the same time, and the addition and the subtraction come at the same time. So there are still only four steps, even though there are six letters in the acronym that we've created. So let's take a look at a couple of examples. Here is an equation which we're asked to evaluate, which means to find the value of. So we've got three different operations. We've got multiplication, addition, and division. So let's remember our acronym. We'll just put it here on the right to remind us. So P, parentheses, there are no parentheses, so we don't have to worry about that. Exponents, we're not going to worry about. Division and multiplication, yes, there is some division and multiplication. So we do that left to right. So the first one we see is 3 times 2. So we can evaluate that as 6. Now it's really important when you're doing order of operations questions, when you have a lot of different operations, to write down each step and keep it organized. So after I've evaluated the 3 times 2, I'm going to write down the whole rest of the equation. So now I have 6 plus 8 divided by 4. And it's really important to keep it all straight. So I always write one down underneath the other as I'm solving it. So next we've got division. I've done the multiplication and the next thing is division. So I need to divide 8 by 4. And I get 2. Again, I write down the whole rest of the equation so I don't get confused. Now I've got ad addition, so I can do that. And 6 plus 2 equals 8. So I've evaluated the equation at the top. So in this question, there are several different operations to complete. So the first thing we're going to do is write down our acronym to remind us of the correct order. And let's start with the parentheses. So we need to complete what's ever in the parentheses first. So I'm going to do that step first. And 6 minus 3 is 3. So then I will rewrite the entire equation with that result. So I end up with 12 divided by 3 plus 10 divided by 2 minus 1. So the next step is to do exponents, and we don't have to worry about that yet. Next is division and multiplication. 
and you can see that in this question there are two division operations. So again, we do it left to right. So I'm going to do the one on the left first. So I'm going to do 12 divided by 3 first, and that will evaluate to 4, so I can rewrite the entire equation. Now I have 4 plus 10 divided by 2 minus 1. Now I do the second division, which is 10 divided by 2. And again, I can rewrite the whole equation, 4 plus 5 minus 1. And next I have to do addition subtraction. Again, I can see that there are two operations in that category. And again, I do it left to right. So in this case, I'm going to do the 4 plus 5 first, which will evaluate as 9. So I rewrite the entire equation, 9 minus 1, and then I can do the final subtraction. So 9 minus 1 is 8. Doing your order of operations in steps like this and rewriting the equation every time will really help you to keep everything in order and not miss a step or not do something in the wrong order.